Hi everyone, we're at Euronaval 2024 in Paris. We are now on the booth of the French Ministry of the Armed Forces. And I am pleased to meet with Admiral David Defougère. He is in charge of future planning and programs for the French Navy. Admiral, good morning. Thanks for uh, welcoming us on the booth next to that great uh, future aircraft carrier model. Thanks a lot uh, for this invitation. Uh, I'm uh, very pleased to uh, talk to you today. Can you please tell us more about your uh, role as a head of uh, future plans and uh, programs? What does that uh, mean exactly? Uh, in fact, um, I'm first of all, I'm the advisor of the French Navy CNO uh, for future programs. And um, I'm the advisor for the future politics in uh, future programs and also uh, um, in charge of the relationship with um, the, the DGA, uh, the procurement ag French agency. Admiral, uh, what are some of the major ongoing programs for the for the, for the French Navy? Uh, I believe uh, we're standing next to the major one. <laughs> yes, obviously, uh, uh, one of the major programs for the French Navy is the the next uh, generation of uh, aircraft carrier, so the the future uh, aircraft carrier, which is called in French P A N G. Um, this uh, this program um, is. Um, um, is scheduled to uh, to arrive in uh, 2038 at the at the end of uh, Charles de Gaulle, and uh, we'll have a, a swap of aircraft carrier between uh, the current one, Charles de Gaulle, and uh, this uh, next one uh, in 2038, with the the end of life and the beginning of life of the new one. But uh, we. We have also other programs, not only uh, the future aircraft carrier. We've got uh, a lot of programs about uh, submarines, with uh, the arrival right now of a new generation of attack nuclear submarines with uh, Program Barracuda. And in the future, the French Navy uh, will uh, will have will see uh, the arrival of a new uh, SSBN submarine, the, the third generation of uh, nuclear submarines. Um, for surface ship, uh, we are receiving the first uh, new class frigate, the FDI, uh, which is a new generation um, numerical ship and um, uh, a multi-role ship. This ship uh, just ended its uh, first uh, sea trials uh, one week ago. We are very happy of uh, the results and uh, we'll continue the process of trials in order to get uh, uh, this uh, new ship in the Navy uh, next year. Uh, and we work on, uh, on it with, uh, with the DGA uh, and uh, also with the uh, Naval Group, which is uh, responsible for the building uh, of this ship. This is uh, for, for ships, but uh, there are also some programs for aircraft, uh, helicopters, obviously, missiles and everything. So as we see here, there's a lot of uh, systems and assets on display here on the show floor, the H-160M, the future helicopters, which is a joint program. Mine warfare as well, uh, future maritime patrol aircraft as well. Yes. There's an ongoing program for this to replace yes. Atlantic II MKAs. Yes, yes. Uh, we've got a, a major program for a, for a, a maritime patrol uh, because uh, uh, we've got uh, the the end of uh, the ATL2, which is our maritime patrol aircraft. Uh, the end is scheduled uh, between 2035 and 2040. So we are working right now for the next generation and um, we are uh, working with different um, um, uh, options and uh, we are close for the decision. This decision should be uh, in a few weeks, few months, I hope so, uh, for the, the, the next, next step uh, for this program. Uh, as I discussed uh, in another interview with uh, the Chief of the French Navy, Admiral Vaujour, uh, the ships are currently being upgraded, receiving new systems to counter emerging threats uh, as uh, the French Navy, for example, is facing currently in the, in the, in the Red Sea. Uh, can you discuss this topic briefly? Uh, so there are new systems, mostly counter UAS. Yes, we are working a lot on this with uh, DGA uh, and uh, with uh, different kinds of uh, industrials. Um, we, uh, we just uh, uh, succeeded to uh, destroy a new UAV a uh, few days ago uh, with a, a brand new system. Uh, we uh, uh, we uh, 
we trained uh, one month ago uh, during a um, uh, wildfire exercise. Uh, this system was good enough uh, to be uh, implemented uh, very quickly on the ship, on the ship uh, depart for the mission with this new system. This is the, the main idea. We've got some very good ships. Our ships, uh, our frigates are very good. Uh, but we need to upgrade these frigates or these aircraft, uh, submarines, with new generation of equipment, um, countermeasure, uh, counter UAV systems, uh, new, uh, um, new artillery uh, um, ammunition. Uh, on, we, we work on how we can improve uh, on the basis of our frigates in order to face new generation of, uh, of threats. And that's, we would, would you agree that it's valid for both uh, new build ships such as the PH, the future OPV, because they are fitted with a dedicated radar system to detect UAVs, but also in-service ships, so th for example the frames that have been fitted with the Paseo XLR and the steer fire control system. Yeah, that's, that's right, yeah, we, are, we, we do both and we need to do both. We need to do both because uh, uh, we need to go quickly to face new generation threat and uh, the threat is, going, is running very fast. Um, the threat we faced six months ago in the Red Sea is not the, the threat we face today. And it's probably not the same as uh, the threat we will have to, uh, to face in six months. So we need to get a very uh, incremental um, evolution based on the, the ships we've got, because uh, we, can, we cannot build a ship in six months. So we upgrade our ships uh, with new generation systems. So we, uh, we check new systems, uh, we try them, and uh, if they are good enough, we just uh, put them on the ships. And that's what you've succeeded with, the, again, the Paseo XLR or right. the Skyjacker, for example. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You, they were fitted in just a few weeks. Uh, for, for the Paseo uh, XLR, uh, we, uh, we decided, um, the history is that we decided around uh, mid-December uh, mid last year, and the ship, um, ship uh, depart for the mission around the 10, between the 10 and the, and the 15 of uh, January. Uh, three, four weeks after, and um, we uh, we decided to do uh, the um, the upgrade with the Paseo XLR. Um, we found um, some uh, uh, available um, Paseo XLR, and uh, we put on the ship. Uh, we uh, check everything was functional, and uh, we had uh, two, three days to check at sea uh, how to use it. We uh, we wrote uh, the the doctrine, and uh, we depart. For the mission, so yes, we we have to run as fast as our um, our enemies. Very well, Admiral. Thank you very much again for the interview. Thanks a lot for uh, for your time, and it was a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks a lot.